Hello and welcome to another Gear Demo with me, Anjay. Today we are going to look at the Harley Benton Roswell pickups and compare them to some Seymour Duncans. One of the questions I get asked all the time when I'm talking about the Harley Bentons is, are the pickups any good? Now I did a shootout between the T52 Telecaster from Harley Benton uh, and my Fender a while back, back to back kind of bridge against bridge, neck against neck. And people really struggled to tell the difference. So I thought it'd be interesting to do it with the uh, humbuckers. So I have the Harley Benton SC Custom with two vintage Alnico 5 um, pickups from Roswell. Uh, and I have my old Tanglewood Pioneer 2 that I've had for about 20 years. And when I got it, I put in the Seymour Duncan into the neck, um, Seymour Duncan Jazz, and in the bridge, I think it's an Alnico 2 Custom Custom. It's definitely an Alnico 2 pickup. And um, it's just worth shooting them out. I'm gonna put them both through the same amp model. They're going straight into my sound card. Uh, and we're gonna do clean and then dirty. And we'll just see what they sound like. Obviously before we get on, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that'd be awesome. But now let's get on with things. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Tanglewood and then I'll swap over to the Harley Benton. The Tanglewood has a Seymour Duncan Jazz in the neck, an Alnico 2 Custom Custom in the bridge. The Harley Benton has two, what they call vintage voiced Alnico 5 pickups. I'm just gonna do bridge, then Harley Benton, both, Harley Benson, neck, you get the idea. We'll go through clean and then dirty tones and then come back at the end and have a chat.
just listened to the two recordings, or the back-to-back -back recordings, and do you know what? There's not a lot in it. I think the Harley Benton Roswells are possibly slightly darker. They're certainly higher output, so they don't clean up as well on the same settings as the Seymour Duncans. But EQ that, and it wouldn't make any difference. I think the Harley Benton, um, you might call it warmer. The Seymour Duncans are certainly clearer. I think the clarity on the neck pickup especially is really, really obvious on the clean settings. On the dirty settings, there's not a lot of difference, really, when you listen to it. Um, and keep in mind, the Seymour Duncans together are £140, and the Harley Benton all-in costs 180 So for the money, the Roswells are fantastic pickups. I think in the mix with decent EQ, you would not tell the difference between the two, really, unless you're doing very, very clean stuff. But then roll the volume off a little bit on the Harley Benton, EQ it differently, and you probably find it'll clean up just as nicely as the neck jazz pickup on the uh, on the Tanglewood. So what do you reckon? I'm really interested to hear what you think of this, because it's not up to me. I, I like both. The Seymour Duncans might end up in my Jackson, to be fair, but I like both pickups. I like both sounds. What do you reckon? Are the Seymour Duncans worth so much more than the Roswells? Is that that big a difference in them? Um, or you know, would you be happy to have the Roswell pickups and not change them? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Yeah.